gosh, <laughs> he really is not that bright. I, I, I'm waiting for someone to say, he's playing chess while the rest of us are playing checkers. Well, they like that one. Wes, line six, WGOW in Tennessee. Welcome to the Savage Nation. Thank you for holding. Hi, Lou. I'm calling between no- or Chattanooga and Knoxville right now, and I just wanted to bring up two points. Uh, I think the reason, in my personal opinion, that people are growing so anti-establishment, any party really, is because they realize that no party is bringing in all these refugees out of the kindness of their heart. They're doing it because there's two possible motives. They want the votes for Democrats and the Republicans want cheap labor, or they want to create all this chaos. They want all this to happen. That way, when it reaches its zenith, we'll reach up to the sky and say, government, please take care of us. And then they'll have more broader, overreaching powers, kind of like the Patriot Act after 9-11, like giving up your freedoms in the name of security. And then for the anti-establishment thing, Trump's picking up some abstraction because he is an outsider, simply because of that. He might say crazy things, but he's still not one of them. He, no- you know, you, know you, 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 you make an excellent point, Wes, when you talk about it reaches critical mass. You know, they're trying to drive us insane from both ends. When it reaches critical mass, what if the people don't say, throw their hands up and say, help us government? What if they say, we're done with you? could be a revolution exactly that's the next word that was going to come out of my mouth thank you west i uh, appreciate your call a uh, revolution i don't think the way uh, america feels right now okay outside of san francisco and new york and miami and uh, and and boston and other places the major cities chicago dallas and so on and so forth i don't think that everybody else is going to throw their hands up they're going to say you've, you've blown it you you've you've totally blown it and then you got like Bernie Sanders in there talking. He actually said that his his socialism will build builds on, and I quote, fantastic uh, programs. Oh, Robert, do we do we have that clip number fifteen? Uh, I, I'd like to play that. I'll give you a second to, to pull it up. Uh, Bernie Sanders is saying my socialism builds on fantastic programs, and he cites the VA failed the post office losing billions of dollars every year and medicare which 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 has been an abysmal failure uh, do, do you have that robert uh please clip 15 thank you i think people understand that when i talk about democratic socialism you know we're talking about building on some fantastic programs that are so important to the american people you know social security guess what it's a socialist program uh, Medicare is a single payer health care system for the seniors. I think it should be expanded to all people. Uh, you know, you got the post office, a great socialist institution, the Veterans Administration. This guy's living in the dream world. You know where he's living? He's living in Obama land. That's where he's living. I'll tell you what, Bill, Andrew, Abraham, Ernie, don't go away. If you're holding, please give us a call. Uh, if you want to get in on the conversation, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Follow the good doctor on Twitter at A Savage Nation. Of course, Facebook, his page is the one with Government Zero, the book cover, no borders, no language, no culture. And uh, tune in tomorrow. Well, you should tune in every day. But you want to tune in tomorrow because uh, Dr. Savage is going to be talking about, uh, well, his his new ebook, Diseases Without Borders, Boosting Your Immunity Against Infectious Diseases from the Flu and Measles to Tuberculosis, and Why the Zika Virus is Spreading, okay? And it's something that you're going to have to be prepared for. And uh, Dr. Savage, well, he has a Ph.D. in Epidemiology, Nutrition and Sciences from the University of California, Berkeley. He's the man who's going to be able to talk about it. You might not think it's important, but it is. <laughs> talk to people in Dallas where Ebola was, uh, run, it was starting to run rampant. And uh, that uh, tourist who came back and contracted the Zika virus through sex, where is he, Robert? Dallas. So uh, you want to keep it here on A Savage Nation. Lou Pate in for Dr. Savage. Your calls, your comments coming back here on A Savage Nation. Welcome back to The Savage Nation. Lou paid in for Dr. Savage, who will return tomorrow, and I encourage you to check out michaelsavage.com. There you can, uh, you can make a purchase of the ebook Diseases Without Borders, which uh, Dr. Savage will talk about in great detail tomorrow. Remember, he has his Ph.D. in Epidemiology and Nutrition and Sciences from the University of California at Berkeley. And while we were on the break, it just came through. Governor Rick Scott 
in the state of Florida, where I live, has declared a health emergency in four counties, being Miami-Dade County, which is the east coast of, of Florida, uh, Lee Hillsborough and Santa Rosa County, which are on the west coast of Florida. So you see you see how these things happen. This is why you have to listen to Dr. Savage tomorrow, because he's going to talk about this in great detail and help us all understand it, because quite frankly, I don't understand it, but Governor Rick Scott, again, uh, of Florida declared a health emergency for counties. That was just today uh, while we were in break. There's at least nine cases of the mosquito-borne Zika uh, virus and illness detected in Florida. Trust me, we, we've got, we've got f- mosquitoes and flies down here that will carry you away and have you for breakfast. Now, the health officials believe that all of the cases are from people who contracted the disease while traveling to affected countries. <clears throat> With that, I again direct you to michaelsavage.com, and you can go there and you can hear Dr. Savage talk about and propose that all people who come from Zika-infested nations should not be allowed in the United States. And for that, I support as well. Uh, Let's get to the phones before the top of the hour, but as we go to the top of the hour, if you're holding, please continue to hold. We're going to get to all of you, uh, Bill, Andrew, Ronald, Ibrahim. Don't go away. In the meantime, let's check out uh, from... Line number two, KSFO Grant, welcome to the Savage Nation. Thank you. Um, so I had heard a while back uh, that uh, Prime Minister of Turkey said that moderate Islam was insulting. It didn't exist. So there's just Islam. So if that's the concept, does that mean that there's really no radical Islam? Um, not too long ago, the former Mufti of Saudi Arabia also said that the belief system of ISIS was the same belief system of them also. So, Well, I'll tell you what, Grant, if that is what I think... I am being very kind, and I think every anybody in the media is being extremely kind when you talk, when you refer to everything that, it, uh, you know, all of the terrorism and all of the terrorist organizations, the beheadings, the rapes of little girls. I think we're being kind when we say radical Islam, because we're open-minded, it's America, um, giving the benefit of the doubt to the rest of the faith who remain incredibly silent on all these atrocities. But if Muslim leaders from countries like Turkey and other places want to uh, refer to it and, and bunch it all together, you know, that's their right to do so. I, I agree. I think as a person, we can't judge the individual people. But as Islam itself, when you see that the things being done by ISIS are the things that have been done in history or in the Quran, then you you have to not say that there's a radical or a moderate it's See, just Islam. All right, Grant, you're saying it's all the same thing. Thanks for your call. Do appreciate it. You're listening to the Savage Nation. Don't go away. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Talk radio for the thinking person, home of borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. Welcome to the Savage Nation. Lou Pate sitting in for Dr. Savage, who will return tomorrow. I uh, do appreciate your time here. We're going to continue taking your phone calls at 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Of course, follow the Savage Nation on Twitter, at a Savage Nation. And go to michaelsavage.com, not only for your news of the day. It's like one-stop shopping. You can, uh, you can get government zero, no borders, no language, no culture, and also the latest, the, e, the e-book, uh, Diseases Without Borders, Boosting Your Immunity Against Infectious Diseases from the Flu and Measles to Tuberculosis. Dr. Savage, who will return tomorrow, will be talking in depth, not only about the book, but as it pertains to the Zika virus, which if you think you don't have to pay attention to, 
Um, just finishing off the last hour, we talked about how Governor Rick Scott in Florida has declared a health emergency there in four counties. Three of them on the east coast, on the west coast, excuse me, of Florida, and one uh, Miami Dade right there in the uh, southeast corner on the Atlantic side. Now, Dr. Savage has his PhD in epidemiology and nutrition and sciences from the University of California at Berkeley, so he knows what he's talking about when it comes to this, unlike a lot of the talking heads I see on TV who are, well, just filling air, we'll say, or blowing air. So uh, keep it here uh, for the Savage Nation tomorrow. Definitely. A, a, a show not to miss, not not that any of them really are. In the meantime, if you're just joining us, we talked about uh, Rand Paul being out, Rick Santorum being out, Trump being back, uh, really getting out the daggers, going after uh, Cruz, calling him a fraud, saying that he stole the Iowa caucus. We've got all eyes now focused on New Hampshire. Rubio trying to uh, keep the momentum from his third-placed win, the, the strongest third-place finish in the history. I heard one... Uh, Pundits say uh, he's he's turning a bronze win into a gold medal, or at least he's trying. But we also hear about people like Jeb Bush, who should step out gracefully because, before it becomes even more embarrassing. Um, various numbers have been thrown out out there, but he paid like over two thousand dollars for each vote he received in iowa uh, kind of embarrassing and what that is is all the money that he spent on the ground all the money he spent on tv and radio and then the paltry amount of votes that he received you know comes out to you know give or take like, there's different various numbers they range from like 1800 to 2300 one on uh, newsmax.com said even as high as 5200 dollars for each vote so it's truly amazing. Where does all this money come from? Think about it. There's a lot of money being uh, floated around out there, and there's a lot of mystery money. Uh, just for the Iowa caucus alone is for four million dollars from outside sources, quote unquote outside sources. What does that even mean? What is secret money? to the candidates, outside sources. Back in 2007, 2008, the money was rolling in for Barack Obama. Small little um, uh, denominations. Where was it coming from? Well, when they start to peel back the onion, it turns out it was coming from the addresses led to nursing homes and pharmacies and grocery stores and just an apartment building. You know, I have like 500 people living in there. Because, you know, nobody wants to uh, pay heed to the law, where you can only give like 2300 up to 2300 A lot of dirty politics, uh, secret money going on out there. And people, you know, especially Hillary Clinton, who never saw a dollar that she wouldn't take from anybody, um, is, is taking part of that, too. Bernie Sanders is actually trying to call her on that. He's, you know, he's above the fray. He wants all of your money, but he's pure. He says he doesn't even have a super PAC. He's gotten three and a half million dollars donations at $27 a piece, and that's how he is uh, funding his campaign. Listen, the only reason that Bernie Sanders isn't taking any Wall Street money is because no one's offering it. If they offered it, he'd take it, just like Hillary Clinton has taken $15 million from Wall Street banks uh, just for this campaign alone. So truly the, the hypocrisy is just being lit up like a sign in Times Square. We also talked about Obama making a trip, a disgusting speech from a mosque outside the city of Baltimore, lecturing non-Muslims in America, a, a truly uh, disturbing, unsettling, and repugnant speech. He sounded like a uh, Harvard uh, professor lecturing his students for beating up a, a student or, or bullying a student in the corner, um, lecturing us on the, the virtues of Islam, how Muslims have built the skyscrapers of Chicago. For, for those listening on Dr. Savage's affiliate in WLS, I'm sure that your, your, your fathers, your grandfathers, and your great-grandfathers and uncles and aunts are going to appreciate to know that their city was built by Muslims. They had absolutely nothing to do with it, the immigrants who came over from Europe uh, during that time. Uh, truly an amazing phenomenon. A historic speech is what Wilf Blitzer called it. I say it's historic in its misinformation. Muslims are our firefighters. There are police officers. There are Olympians. There are entrepreneurs. There are scientists. There are sports heroes. There are armed force uh, members, armed forces members. Uh, no one else has done anything if you listen to this speech. America, all of it was built by Islam. 
Never once did he say terrorists. Never he only he referred to the terrorists as organized extreme elements, organized extreme ideologies. The speech was a 45-minute infomercial. Thought I was going to have to buy face cream at the end, but 